Hey guys, in today's video I am here with a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I'm absolutely in love with this look. It's a really nice maroon brown smoky eye. I absolutely love this look. For this look I use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I love this palette so much. It's so stunning. All the shades are so pigmented. So I love this palette. That's what I use today to achieve this look. But yeah, I hope you guys really like it. I also want to mention I did not post a video on Tuesday. My schedule has been so hectic. I go to college every single day. I have class. So I'm going to have to try to find a new schedule to post videos on. I know I can do Sunday still. But I'm going to have to find a week in between, like a day that I can definitely post a video instead of Tuesdays. Because Tuesdays have not been working for me, just so you guys know. So right now, I'm only doing Sundays. I'm going to try to get videos up during the week. But I'm not sure what my exact schedule will be yet. But yes, I also have a little bit of glitter in the inner corners I forgot to mention. I really love it. I think it adds a little bit of a pop to the look and a little bit more girliness and dramaticness to it. But yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Bye, guys. To start off this look, I'm going to prime my eyes. For that, I've been loving the Rock Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. Now to set that, I'm taking the Lorac Pro 3 palette and taking the shade called Blanc. It's a really nice white bone shade and I'm using that to set from brow bone to lid. Now I'm going to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and taking the shade Raw Sienna and Burr Orange and combining them two and applying it directly into my crease and a little bit above. This is going to help all the shades but nice and seamlessly. I do keep packing this shade on pretty heavily because I really want you to see it and I also make sure to blow it out when I'm blending it kind of outward so when I wipe it away with a makeup wipe it's nice and sharp and a cat eye look. Now I'm going back into that shade we used earlier, the shade Blanc, and I'm using that again on my brow bone highlight to make sure we didn't go too far up with the shade, and to also make sure all the shades are nicely blended. Now with the shade Love Letter, it's a really nice maroon pink shade. With a pencil brush, I'm applying this directly into my crease and the outer corner, and as you see again, I'm applying it outward so we have a nice cat eye effect when we wipe it away. What I keep doing with this is really making sure to pack it on as much as I want, and then I go back in with that big fluffy brush and really make sure everything is nicely blended. We want no harsh lines with this look, we want to make sure that the edges are really nicely blown out. So I just keep going back in with the shade, packing it on until I get the most color payoff that I would like. Now going into Cypress Umbrum, it's a really nice dark brown with a flat brush and packing this over my entire lid. Now I'm just going back in with that love letter shade and that pencil brush and repacking it on because it did get blended away a little bit as we were packing on that brown shade and I want the shade to be really intense. Then again I'm going back in with that brown shade and repacking it on and basically just repacking all the shades on so they're really intense. I went ahead and did my wing liner off camera using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and then popped on my Ardell 105s. To add a little bit more dramaticness to the look, I went ahead and applied the NYX Glitter Liner in gold. I only applied this in the inner corner of my eyeshadow. For my primer, I'm taking the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I actually really like this. It makes my foundation go on nice and smoothly, and it also makes my skin feel nice and smooth as well, which I really like. Now for my foundation, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I absolutely love this foundation.
To highlight as well as conceal, of course, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm applying this underneath my eyes as well as on the center of my face to really make it nice and awake. Now I'm going to head and cream contour a little bit. I'm taking the Tardis Pro Glow Palette and taking the shade called Shade. I'm going ahead and contouring my cheekbones as well as my temples. Now to set my under eyes, I'm taking my RCA Mate No Color Powder. To set that cream contour, I'm going back into that Tardis Pro Glow Palette and taking the shade called Sculpt and just contouring wherever we put that cream contour. Going back into that RCMA No Color Powder, I'm just taking it and sculpting out my contour to make it a little bit more sharp. Going into this e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo in the shade St. Luca, I'm taking the bronzer side and warming up the outside of my face. Here I'm just wiping away that baking I did earlier and as you can see my contour looks nice and sharp and cleaned up. For blush I'm taking this one from MAC called Warm Soul. For highlight, first I'm going into this one by the Tardis Pro Glow Palette in the shade Lit. Then I go ahead and switch it with the Anastasia So Hollywood to make it a little bit more gold. To finish up the eyes, we're going to be smoking at the bottom lash line. So I'm going back into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and taking raw sienna and burnt orange and applying that from inner to outer lash line. Then lastly, I'm going back into Love Letter and applying that from inner to outer lash line, but this is going a little bit more closer to the lash line because you still want to see that raw sienna and burnt orange shade peeking through. Now I'm taking any brown eyeliner and applying that in my waterline. Then I'm going back into the shade Love Letter. I'm going to be smoking it out. Taking any mascara, I'm applying that to my lower lashes. Going back in with that gold liquid liner, I'm applying that to my inner corner and a little bit on my lash line. Then I'm going back into that palette and taking tempura and applying that to my brow bone. And that is it for this look. Super gorgeous and super dramatic. And lastly for lips, I want it to pair well with the crease look. So I'm going into this Milani liquid lipstick in the shade Embrace. It's a really nice kind of a bright maroon shade. And that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>